So what's the bad news? Well, the bad news, I'm sure you guys saw this too. But let's see a kaboom. Of, speaking of SpaceX, I've had my head in the sand for a week. I don't see anything. You saw this though, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we yeah, talk about this last week? No, because this <laughs> happened on Friday. <laughs> no, I, I guess I've not seen I think I saw the headline. I didn't know. Wow. Yeah. Oh, you didn't see this, Ben? No, that's awesome. So yep. for, for people listening, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> giant fireball where, yeah. where the starship used to be. Yep. Were, were they Mega playing the Star Spangled, Star Spangled Banner in the background? <laughs> it looks just... Very this American is easily right the biggest explosion we've ever seen from Starship. Now, Can somebody now, just composite in like Elon walking away from it with shades on in slow motion, <laughs> <laughs> not looking back? Seriously, it, that is some Michael Bay style fireball. Wow. Yeah. Nuts, right? Methane. So, so this was uh, <laughs> serial number four. Right. This, yeah. this four. happened in between the launches, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so I didn't watch the video, but I saw that, and I was like, "Wait, they probably should have waited." <laughs> yeah, because... I really, I really was surprised that they did that. I am shocked, but it sounds like they they were trying to hit a milestone by June first. Um, they're trying to hop by June first for I, I'm guessing it's probably a Dear Moon or a NASA milestone or something like that. Mm -hmm. So they were really pushing it to like get. They had to do a bunch more uh, static fires, and like this was a test of the quick disconnects. Um, so the the fuel umbilicals. They had to be able to, you know, pull them off quickly, and just like all rockets do. Mm. Uh, but apparently, the the valves didn't close properly, and just ended up leaking all of the fuel all over everything. And then eventually, the fuel found a an ignition source, and <sighs> yeah, and it full blown exploded. And it raises a lot of questions, like why when it exploded this big, why isn't there an actual like wall between the tanks and the vehicle? Because this mm. definitely damaged a lot of ground equipment. Yeah. Oh. You know. Yeah. Like, why don't they? Why? Why didn't they just? Because <laughs> all they have is a small berm, but like, put a wall up and protect those expensive tanks. You know. Um, but uh, Starhopper didn't even get shaken. Starhopper's just like, yeah, I've been here, done that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, you know, it's still that same story that that I there's. I don't know if we're seeing more failures because this is in public or because it's, you know, they're pushing it so fast and so hard or if it's like both, you know, we're seeing the failures and there's also a lot of them. Therefore, it's like 10 times more failures than we're used to seeing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure companies do this all the time. I'm sure when you if you were behind the scenes of ULA or behind the scenes of, you know, of, of Blue Origin. And while they're developing a, a new type of tank or a new engine, stuff blows up all the time. We just don't see it. But not only does it, it but I think SpaceX then like multiplies that because it's in the public. So we see it and they're pushing so fast and doing this to the point where they're going, going to be back at it here in a couple weeks. Mm. You know, like that's insane. But don't so they I, already have two other starships just like sitting there ready to go up? Yeah, like and aren't they building five? a second test stand so that when they those, blow up one of them, they can just yeah go on to the next one? Those yeah. other ones have yeah. Raptors as well. They will. Yeah. They'll, they'll all have. Them. But I mean, like, yeah. there's Raptors available. They're not. Like, yes, there's plenty uh, of Raptors now. Actually, okay. the yeah. Raptors are catching up really quick. I, I I hear there's like a backlog even at McGregor that they're test firing them like every day. I mean, that McGregor is you know where they test all the engines. It's just like <laughs> so busy now. But yeah, serial number five, serial number six are like pretty much done. So now they just have to clean up this mess. Uh, but it's it's crazy because it looks so bad to have. I can't believe I I did not see the headline that I assumed we were going to see, which is SpaceX blows rocket blows up rocket day before astronauts get on board. Oh, I think you know? I saw a headline like that. I'm sure that I know there had to be. I mean, I called I, it too. I'm not even mad at that because I think SpaceX brought that on themselves by doing that. <laughs> you know, you're asking for that headline to be written by doing that test in the middle of this other thing, you know, <clears throat> but, but think about it. Like, I mean, they're completely different programs and unfortunately no, know, the general but, public just won't yeah. understand that. That, th That's what I was about to say. People who it follow. Anyways. It, yeah. Even if you don't have that title, if you just have a, like, Star, you know, SpaceX Starship explodes, like like nothing related to the astronauts. 
because the astronaut stuff is so hot and that's what people are thinking of, they're going to make that connection and assumption anyways. So I, they should should have waited. Well, <laughs> again, basically. again, my my wife, uh, I was I, I saw the video and I was like, oh man, and I showed it to her and she was like, is that what the astronauts are on? Right, that's what I'm saying. Right. Like regardless like, of a, a media person making that title, that's just yeah, where right. that's the what connection. people are going to assume regardless because nobody knows. Like people didn't yeah. even seriously like like I know we are deep into this and we understand this stuff, but like you know I meet people about Tesla stuff and they're like, oh, so you know like does it take gas? at all right right and i mean yeah. it's me yeah. like absurd to even think that but I'm like that's the general perception that's where the yeah you know what i mean so yeah. space stuff is the same way like the fact yeah. that they have multiple programs on doesn't even make sense to people they, don't, they never even thought like oh they're, mm. they're what they're working on another multiple rocket like rockets I don't, yeah yeah <laughs> that's true yeah but yeah at the end of the day you know like i said it's it's honestly not it's not like a huge deal you know i mean i i feel like i'm I'm sounding like an apologist about this because it just, it happens all the time. And I'm always like, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I mean, of course, at some point they're going to have to stop blowing stuff up, (laughs) you know, like period. And it really does raise the question of like, how, how advanced is this stuff and how far are they? But we've seen this so many times with SpaceX where it's, Mm. you know, no way will they ever get to orbit with Falcon 1. No way will the Falcon 9 work, which, it, by the way, on the recording today, it's the 10-year anniversary of Falcon 9. No way will oh. they ever dock to the International Space Station. No way will they ever return from the International Space Station. No way, you know, like, yeah. no way will they ever land a booster. No way will they ever reuse a booster. No way, like, no way will they ever catch a fairing. That used to be this, like, Im- totally impossible thing. I don't, by the way, I, don't, I didn't hear if they caught Starlink's fairing last night. That's the whole but, Peter Thiel thing right never bet against elon musk kind of thing <clears throat> yeah it's just like okay yes this stuff's hard but like i love that people just go that's it it's impossible yeah, like, yeah. stop that <laughs> i mean didn't he that's say that silly. he was he, he expected we would go go through like 20 prototypes before we had a working like an actual working starship that sounds right it was a something yeah like, like a that. dozen or 20 or something a pretty high number i think but he the said cost before, like, is so low because the materials are cheap right it yeah. doesn't kind of matter I mean, these are probably, besides the Raptor, the Raptor's probably pretty expensive. But, you know, these are, I'm guessing this explosion didn't cost more than $5 million. I have no idea. But, like, sometimes tweets not, cost more than 100, that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, not $100 million. Yeah. You know? I don't know. But, but again, I'm, 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 I'm of two minds on this, like everything. And on one side, it's like, yes, this is part of the process. We knew that. SN4 was going to go one way or another, you know, and, and they're going to push each one as far as they can take it. And when it blows up, just move the next one out. That's all part mm-hmm. of the process. But then the other side of me is like, like you said, it's like, I'm kind of like, it, it starts to worry you when you see every single one of these things blow up or implode or fall apart. And it's like, yeah, something yeah. needs to work eventually, guys. <laughs> yeah. well, the, the only, I mean, I, I guess the question would be at some point, like the process of learning, I think, is what you're getting at, Tim, is worth it. And these are so cheap to yeah. make and it's so rapid that it's this is fine. But the, the only like thinking down the road, if you tested 10 of them and at some point you said, actually, this whole design is not going to work and we got to scrap the thing and start over. That would be where that like it, it's a problem, I, I think. Right. But yeah. like as long as like it can work and will work, then it's just a part of the process. Right. So I think that's the thing. Like if you're confident in that, then keep going. No worries. If you're like, actually, <laughs> it's not going to work. Then you then I think it's like, well, that sucks. You just wasted a ton of time and money. Well, I think that's the beautiful thing about doing rapid iteration like this is that it they haven't even solved far enough that that it doesn't. Re- it, that's what I'm saying. Why it doesn't matter. Like if if SLS got to this point and blew up. <laughs> It would be a way bigger deal because it was so right. solved. And like all of the infrastructure, everything is ready for it, right? And if it fails, it's a really big deal. This is just like a, a experiment, you know? And yeah. they don't need to solve the next part until they solve the, you know, it's 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 like the biggest if the if this, then that, you know? It's, it's just um, all milestone-based. And I'll say that until it is done, but it is just truly milestone-based. Yeah, yeah. And, and if slash when they get this thing finalized and finished, um, he's going to wear it as a badge of honor. Oh, yeah. Remember remember the, the video we put together of all the landings that didn't work? 
all the unscheduled disassembly, uh-huh. rapid unscheduled disassembly. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna put one of those together for this, like all this all the starships that blew up before Definitely. we finally got one that worked. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh man. So hopefully, hopefully this is the last. I don't know the last big boom we see. That I think the the scary thing to not equate is knowing like this is a potential outcome of a rocket that will have people going to Mars. You know, like mm-hmm. how do you avoid that? Um, how do you make it strong enough to like? How do you? Yeah, I mean, it's, rockets are hard. Rockets are hard. There's, there's a lot of energy in that thing. <laughs> yep, yep. About four thousand tons of TNT or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sit on top of that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, by the way, you, you may have noticed the card popped up right when it exploded on my YouTube page of uh, why doesn't Starship have an abort system? Because <laughs> that's my recommended video. Because that still stands. Because you don't need one. Look, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's designed so it doesn't blow up. Yeah. Well, you saw the mass simulator on top. It went straight up in the air. Yeah, they're fine. They just so... got to stick some parachutes on that. <laughs> exactly. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash yt. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks everybody.